I'm Mindy Zerker and I have been coming to Brookside for about three years and Jesus is the center of my life. So my husband um, John is here with me and I have four kids, so ages 12 to 3 or so. We were attending a different church kind of nearby and it was funny because we were at Brookside I think about four or five days a week and we started noticing just a lot of overlap with families and just really loved the ministries that Brookside was opening its doors to and so we decided to check it out for services and just Jesus centered everything. That is something that my husband and I really love just because we are always praying that um, Jesus will be the center of our you know, of our lives, of our family, of our church and community and work. And so um, that's something that we've really gotten on board, just thinking of Jesus, you know, not just as our most important priority, but making him the center of everything, being everything to us. So one way that I feel like it's been just intentional, instead of putting myself in the center, just to put Jesus in the center by um, serving at church and um, just serving those around me. So I think that's kind of a way to intentionally take the focus off myself and put it on others. So, and then the amazing thing is I feel like that's such a blessing because first, like we've gotten to know a lot of people just because we came, you know, three years ago, like kind of right before COVID. And after COVID coming back, we felt like we really hadn't made a dent in like getting to know anyone that we didn't know before. Um, so that's been a really good way like we joined a small group which was really good so we got to know a few families but serving you know has helped us to get to know the staff and just other families in the church and see the heart of the church so that's been a huge blessing and then also um, just serving alongside my kids so doing it as a family I think is really cool um, because with our kids, we're always praying that they'll have like soft hearts and desire the Lord and want them to be thankful and not selfish, but really it's like a lot of the things in day-to-day -day life are just for, kind of for them, like we're trying to get their school things together or their activities that they're in and maybe they help with chores at home or something, but it's still helping us. And so I feel like getting them involved in serving others at church just kind of opens their eyes to the joy of blessing others and encouraging others and um, yeah so it's really neat to see um, I would encourage someone who's considering serving just to really pray about it first and ask God like what do you want me to do and I think he can be really clear sometimes in answering that um, and then also just to take that answer and then jump in and not be afraid to do something new or out of the box